Between the mid-1910s and 1930s, encephalitis lethargica, or EL, swept the globe, sickening over a million and killing approximately 500,000. The encephalitis produced extreme sleepiness, fevers, headaches, muscle pain, visual and psychiatric changes, and, in many survivors, Parkinsonian signs. Identified independently in 1917 by Vienna's Konstantin von Economo and France's Jean-René Cruchet, EL had an acute phase and a chronic aftermath. In some, years later, post-encephalitic Parkinsonism froze faces and limbs while minds stayed alert. Children infected could later develop impulse-driven violence and disinhibition, then decline into statue-like immobility. Because EL coincided with the 1918 influenza pandemic, researchers suspected a link, but no single cause or transmission was proven. Hypotheses span autoimmune reactions and streptococcal infection. Crowding, war, and travel likely amplified spread without explaining origin. The epidemic peaked in the early 1920s, dwindled by 1927, and nearly vanished. Since 1940, dozens of cases have been reported. A 1929 survey found a third died acutely, a third survived intact, and a third developed chronic sequelae. Mid-century trials of L-DOPA briefly awakened some patients before complications returned. Other therapies remain inconsistent. EL's sudden rise and retreat, unresolved cause, and lingering disability leave one of medicine's great unsolved mysteries and a lingering fear of recurrence.